Here we are. We're going to take a look at this geofield ag conditioner. It's actually producing a field that protects more than 10,000 acres, which is great because this is a, this farm is just 51 acres, but they've got a huge lake. They've got ponds, tons of wildlife, and they're out a little bit remote. So it's protecting a field, an entire ecosystem that is interchanging with their property as well. Wow. So you can see it's it, what it is. It's four light towers, but each light tower by itself would actually produce a single column of light. We call it light tower because the tower, it's a tower of light. It's a beam of coherent light. When light hits this, it reflects off. But when you, uh, because we're using the physics of light around vo vortexes, so each of these is creating a vortex. When you put it in a vortex orientation, 90 degree angle of each other, it actually creates a, a larger one, which is then becomes a broad array. Mm. And so then that broad array is what creates this low atmosphere uh, effect that protects the 10,000 acres. So it's bioconditioning. So it's, it, we call it geofield because it's conditioning the geofield, the whole ecosystem, the soil, all the way up to the plants and the, the, the air as well. Um, in a conditioning format, it's harmonizing. It's like a tuning fork. For nature and for anybody who's in there so people plants and animals within the field science is that we use plasmonics which is part of physics to actually treat the plates it goes through a, a chamber where they get treated and they come out they actually weigh a little bit different molecular weight they're very so they're a very unique metal when we're done with the process and then each plate actually treats the next one so the light that reflects off the bottom plate interacts with the second one. Now those two are interacting with the third. Wow. So now the, the photons the, it's at the photonic level are highly structured. And that structuring interacts with nature and it's all natural. We learned with mitochondria, mitochondria is extremely uh, sensitive to light and needs good quality light. It's an electron process. An electron transfer is interacting with the photons. But there's a difference when they interact with a natural photon and, an art, and something made from man-made, something that's man-made, like the cell towers or the power lines, low orbit satellites or uh, radar, which you can't really escape any of that today. So when you get that man-made, artificially made photonic activity, it puts a stress at, um, on the cell uh, cells. On the cells, absolutely. It, that's why they say don't live next to a to cell tower. Right, Dr. Martin Paul would say it activates the voltage-gated calcium channel in his research. Now you're getting way too many cell calcium ions, positive ions into the cell, which causes mitochondrial dysfunction, can lead to that. It can lead to uh, chronic disease and even cancer. These are all Absolutely pathways cancer. that the research has found. It's not something I'm stating, it's just research is out there if we look for it. What we find is that uh, but when the body is always fighting for homeostasis, mm -hmm. so all those are a response to the stress caused by electromagnetic radiation. Mm -hmm. When we get into a balanced environment that these plates are helping produce, we find that that stress is reduced, it's gone, it's lowered, and then the systems come back to, to, to nature and come back to balance, which is one reason why you should be able to see an increase in production on farms, an increase in pollinators and their behavior. The bees here, they say they don't even need to suit up. Uh, they're very calm. Um, the frequencies and the resonance of this farm are just really, it's really harmonized. They've, it's been here for, uh, I believe, just over a year. And so before a lot of this was, was placed, and as you were walking, you're commenting, wow, I can't believe that plant's that big. I right. can't believe this is that big. Right. Plants respond to energy you see and coherent they, energy. Yeah. They don't have weekly caretaking of the mm -hmm. plants, and yet they're producing like they do. Yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. It's amazing. Thank you. Well, definitely it structures the water within the body. Mm -hmm. So just having the plate underneath an animal or pointing it at them is already offsetting the incoherent energies that are causing the fourth phase of water to collapse and it allows that fourth phase of water to re-expand, which then means 
the cells can do their job. They, they're metabolically active. Red blood cells can pick up oxygen, deliver the tissue, pick up waste material, take it out of the body. They're just effective. Yeah. And that's yeah. the whole basis for how we heal. Hmm. Yeah. Just working with nature naturally how nature is supposed to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So this That's is what we want to do. because I don't think we're ever going to be able to get rid of the toxicity that we have on our planet at this point between the EMF and right just now. glyphosate, just those two alone. Right. So now it it's a different conversation, not about getting rid of them. It's about mitigating them. You can help to try to reduce within your local place where you live. If you're sleeping in your sleeping room, that bedroom, you can, ex you can reduce, you can remove there because you control that. But as soon as you, at least within what the source is within your bedroom, but you can't stop what's coming in. No. And even if you put on shielding paint, they only go down to a certain wavelength. You're still, you can still get the radio. You can still listen to AM, FM radio. Um, and we know in the research that even that much uh, non-ionizing radiation actually can stimulate a health response. The internet throughout my entire house. Yeah. Around Just a router, just that little box. And it right. picks it up from my office, which is the lot next door. Oh, it's, a, it's like a repeater. So yeah. that is what we are influenced by. Mm -hmm. These different waves of oh, that, the, the, inter, the internet waves. So different waves we are being bombarded with. Mm -hmm. And no wonder we're a mess. 10 years ago, there was a province in, in India that uh, ruled that this is a health crisis. It's and they made it illegal to deploy uh, non-ionizing radiation or wireless communication. That was ten years ago. The whole province did, and yet here we are. We we're still using the technology and, and adding to it. So, thank you. I was in Africa twenty years ago, and they were so proud that they had leaped the landline technology right into wireless. Yeah. Well, we didn't know what we know now, and I, I wish they had it. I wish they had continued. I wish we all could go back to landline. To the landline. Yeah, we were just Healthier. talking about that. Remember, we everybody had plugs for the landline. Yeah. Now that's gone. That's gone. You don't even want it in your house. You don't. So it's a it's a question of what do you want? What do you want in your life? You know, what does healthy living look like? And I think too much of us, it, it's about convenience but it, and, with and your, whatnot. But so. with your product, you can have the convenience and just have that to, yes. like she said, mitigate the yeah. downside of our convenience. Right. Right. Well, we've been sold on fast, cheap, and convenient. Yeah. Too long. Yeah. All right. Thank we'll you. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like good, right. a good plan. You got this. All right, bro. This is a pleasure.